You know what my thing is, yeah? You know what my problem is with the United fans that are on this David De Gea thing, yeah? You, man, are talking shit that we don't... We're acting like we're oblivious to, that we don't know. Every Manchester United fan knows that have David De Gea, one, is not a modern goalkeeper, two, he is shit with his feet. Check the scores before you come with your reckless talk. Go check. Sending corn back to my team and we're back to yours. For the win, taking no L's, we don't do draws. Don't press pause, keep your ears filled when Tessie talks. <laughs> Hello, strangers. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. It's nice to see you lot. It's, it's nice to see Kims. It's been a while, man. It's been, been a while. while. A lot's fucking happened, bro. A lot's happened. <laughs> I don't know why I'm sitting here with a smile on my face. Don't know why. Jesus, Kims. It's been happening, man. Where you been, man? Them free get them free them six points that you dropped in them three oh, games. We got you hiding, blood. That's what I'm oh, saying about know, these, man. You know, trust me. Okay, now. We're still fighting, though, but we're still fighting. See you, the bastards, bro. Trust me. All right, that's yeah, the hashtag are. for this show, you know. Still fighting. <laughs> we're still fighting. Because how... Get that, that one in the comments. <laughs> how is Arsenal hashtag bottle their title charge and United have also looking like they're about to battle their top four finish? What's going on, man? What's going on? Obviously, I don't think that, but that's what the people are saying, you get me? Cordy's still in the... your hands. Bro. Exactly. Tell, tell them, saying, Kim. Tell them, saying, we lose to Wolves on Sunday, then I might be like, shit. Yikes. <laughs> We're still in our hands, man. Liverpool can win every single game from now to the end of the season. You see, as long as we get them nine. It's all right, man. It's all right. Well, how, how are you feeling, though, man? The last time I seen you, I was on this panel. You was, um, we was, I swear we was talking about, that K1 was talking about, yo, you are going to bottle it or something, and you were saying, yo, like, how... Nah, how the same we're going to bottle it. It's saying that if we don't... Oh, if you don't, you, you, bottled you, it. you've bottled it, basically. Yeah. And the way I see it is, people can think what they want to think. <laughs> <laughs> You get me? You People can think what they want to think. Let me, At the end of the season, I'll, have, I'll make my judgment. Yeah, we've... As it looks right now, we've fucked it for ourselves. You get me? You've dropped points against, what, Liverpool from 2-0 up, West Ham from 2-0 up, and you've drawn at home to Southampton, who are bottom of the table. You get me? 2-0 mm. down, and then you've had to fight back to get it 3-3. You get me? Mm. Like that's that you can't. That's what. Not, how many points that dropped? Six. Six points dropped from three games. In from three games, and they're running from <laughs> against Man City. That's gonna cost you. You get me? Like it's it's, it's sad to say, but because you think about it, mm. looking at the table now, we've still won more games than Man City mm. and haven't lost more games than Man City, mm. but we're not top. It's just. <laughs> The the Premier League is just just uh, the Premier League man. is horrible. Ruthless, it's, it's horrible. Still. We're still on track to get what ninety points, I think, mm -hmm. and it's not going to be enough by the looks of it, bro. I swear, Real Madrid and um, uh, Napoli, oh, Barcelona. Barcelona, sorry, and yeah. Napoli won on like seventy something each, eighty. 80, 80, 81 80, points, yeah, I think. 80 and 81. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're currently on 84. <laughs> 80, 84 or 81, I can't remember. This is why the Premier League is the best league in the world, yeah? Mm. It's exactly why. You get me, the levels are just different. But why? From We're going to talk more about Arsenal and Man United's fortunes later on down in the show. Mm. Um, but uh, just, just to touch on... In fact, now we can touch on that later. Um, right, well, do you know what? I'm not happy. Uh, I'm not happy, yeah? I'm calm. What are you not happy about, man? I'm calm, but I'm not happy. Like, I'm not happy how men have literally put ourselves in this position, bruv. Like, at the start of the season... By the way, people, I got a bit of a sniffle, so you see me wiping my nose... <laughs> Mind your business. Yeah. Yeah, there's something going around, man. I got a little. Even little, my daughter, bro. Swear down. Mm, that's why I yeah. ended up record yesterday. But yeah. mm, damn. I mean, my daughter's got. Mm. She woke up with something today. I did a little parents, some parents play day with your kid at nursery and that. 
I left there at nursery. I'm coming back. No, it's just frozen. You get me? Like, I see them nurseries, yeah. Them nurseries, they have some different type of germs up in there. You know, I swear down. Mm. If you got kids, you know. But back to what I was saying. Yeah, I don't understand how we're in this position. Like, I'm not worried. I ain't shook or none of that. I and mean, we'll get into that. But what I want to know is how... Since since man lifted the cup, have these man really gone complacent, bro? Because it's just joke. Mm. It's like, you know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. Let's just get into Twitter the week. I'm not even doing the jingle. I'm so pissed off. I'm not doing the jingle this Yo, week, people. Keep doing the jingle, man. Kings, if you want to do the jingle, you can do you the jingle, what? but I'm, I'm pissed off. There's going to be no more jingle until we got the proper thing for you yeah, next season. Yeah? I'm pissed off. So Listen. You're going to have to have the tweet. You Even Tez is doing the tweet this week. That's how bad he is. Bro, listen. <laughs> people, yeah, listen. How many more oh. weeks we got? We got we got around four more weeks of Tez Talks, bruv. Uh. No, not even that one. Three weeks. Jesus Christ. Three weeks, man. You like going to miss us, you know? But listen, so I can just... This week's tweet comes from at Jay Weezy. We got Jay Weezy. And he says, change the goalkeeper... And this project will explode. Just as Pep, Klopp, and Arteta. Mm-mm. What's that, Man United fan? Is Sounds like a Man United fan. Still. A Manchester United fan who oh. I don't understand. At the start of the season, I feel like there was no the hair agenda. I feel like there was no the hair agenda, but just it was kind of not been, with him. There's been one of yeah with the fan base, yeah, yeah but not with him. Oh, 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 oh. But recently, man's just been going in on David the hair and don't right. You know what? Before before I justified if you ask me. Before I even start talking, let's get Keem's view on it because once I start, I'm not gonna stop. My, Keem's, yeah, go on, go ahead. What, what talk to me, man? David the hair, Manchester United. So you want my view on just David the hair right now? Is he, my first question is, is he, is the goalkeeping position a priority for Manchester United this summer, in your no, opinion? it's not. It's right. not a priority. Right, thank you very far much. Far from, far from. And um, my second question is, um, your thoughts on David De Gea? Um, my overall thoughts on David De Gea is that he's just stuck in the, in that in that transition of the the new the new school of football basically mm. he's probably one of the the he's basically from the old regime of football mm. like from the old mold let's say he's from that era of all you need to be is a shot stopper that's it and that's it really that's it that's what goalkeeper you need, yeah. sh- if, as long as he st- stops the shots Get him in, you get me. And that that did him well for a good period. How long has he been at Man United? 13 years or something like something that. Something mad. Something crazy like yeah, that. Yeah, so he's just his deficiencies are only being highlighted now because the game's demanding more of him now. Mm. It needs him to be good with his feet. It needs him to be more be more up to date, up to the time. Yeah, modern. Me? Just say it like that's just like the thing with modern football right now is any position you play, it doesn't matter. Whatever your job is to do, you have to... Doing your job is not even the bare minimum yeah. anymore. There's no hiding places. Nah, on the pitch there's not. Now, there's there's not. There's not. Even the fullbacks. They used to say fullbacks used to be the the position where you, you can get away with certain things, you get me? Like players like Gary Neville, he wasn't the best player, mm. but... It can get a job done there, mm. but now it's like your fullbacks now are more or less just in a lot of teams the most important players in the fucking team. Basically, you get me. They gotta be like so, Trent. Yeah, so the game's transitioning. So the Gea, he's being criticised now because the a lot of the best teams now their goalkeeper is a big role in. The, the overall play of the team, basically. Mm-hmm. So if your goalkeeper isn't allowing your 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 defence to... You know what I'm trying to say? Like, your goalkeeper yeah. is basically the start of the attack, basically. Yep. And he, 
the, the guy, he's just not comfortable. It's all mm. about comfortability. Mm-hmm. You got players like Ramsdale, Allison, Edison, a lot more p- keepers. You get me that can control the ball with their feet, can play like intricate passes here and there, mm. and don't look like a sh- don't look like a bag of fucking nerves. Yeah, Whenever they can, get the ball, you get me. Man, man can take as soon the ball, as the guy gets the ball at his feet. I know your belly drops, in it, fam? Like, you're thinking, bro, don't do something stupid. I do. And it depends who's there. If Martinez is there, I'm less worried, because he'll be able to find Martinez, or Martinez will put himself in a position where he's available for the pass and play the hair out of trouble, just like Varane. Um, but talking shit that we don't... We're acting like we're oblivious to, that we don't know... Every Manchester United fan knows that have David De Gea, one, is not a modern goalkeeper, two, he is shit with his feet when it comes to using them other than making saves. Everyone knows this. We all know David De Gea is shit. Modern goalkeeper, he's shit. Henderson is probably better than him at doing the modern goalkeeper, sweeper keeper. Fucking Fabianski's probably better than him. Not even probably. Like A lot of people will argue, we know this. We know this. But, He's not a pri- the goalkeeper at Manchester United is not a pro- a priority no, position. Not. How can it be a priority position if he has the most? Let's just keep it Premier League. Let's just keep it Premier League. He has the most clean sheets in the Premier League. Yeah. Man will chat shit about yeah, that's due to the defense. My man's played with like six different combinations in front of him. He's had he's had Varane and Martinez first choice. He's had uh, Varane and Luke Shaw. He's had Maguire and Lindelof. He's had Luke Shaw and Lindelof. He's had Varane um, and, and Luke Shaw. And I swear there's one more partnership, but I can't remember. But I just know there's six. That is a fact. You go out there, you go Opta, whichever Premier League, whichever ones you want to use, the ones that you can pay for, it is a fact. He's had six different partnerships in front of him. He's had the lot playing on the left. He's had the lot playing on the right. He's had Malasia playing on the left. Malasia playing on the right. Wambasaka playing on the right only. And somehow, in the Premier League, he still has the most clean sheets. Out of all the keepers in the top six, out of every single keeper in the top six, he's made the, the second most saves after Alisson, bruv. David Rea has made 100, 100 shots, uh, saved 100 shots on target. De Gea has saved friggin' night between 96 and 94. Off the top of my head, I, I cannot remember. It's in the phone somewhere. But, yo... Edison has only faced 44 shots on goal. Nick Pope's also faced left. Ramsdale's faced left. And um, who's... I can't remember the other one, but let's just stick on those those ones there, yeah? If they've all faced less shots than him, that means out of all the teams in the top six, David De Gea has been getting peppered the most. So if a goalkeeper... His main job is to stop the goals from going in the back of the net. How can he be the problem? I understand, again, that he is shit with his feet. And I understand that if you man want to see 100% 10 hog ball that it was bopping teams with in the Champions League in, going the whole of the group stage, not conceding a damn goal, going to the semi-finals with that style of play, I understand the hair has to go, the future, but... Like J1, like 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 J1 said in the tweet, in the project, the project, bro. Mm. He can go at a later date. He can even go next Jan. He can go next Jan. Man, I don't care what man have to say about his shit, his shit with his feet and all these things there. Butland is not better than uh, David De Gea. Tom Heaton is not better than David De Gea. You put them two players in goal right now. I guarantee ya, whether they can do the sweeper keeper thing, whether the cowards and the, 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 the David De Gea is a coward and all these things there, I guarantee you, they are not saving some of the shots that David De Gea has faced. My man has saved man so much times. No, but one also he's cost you so many times. He like, has, but do you know what? So it, there's an argument. F- there is. It justifies people's um, that people have lost faith in him now. You get me? I hear that. People have had enough. Like we've been saying this for a few years now. Like I hear that. I hear that, and I'm not. I'm not I don't dispute that. Even the game that the, the shot that he let go in against. I think um, even this West season, Ham. it's like he's had the second most. Um, is that the highest, bro? Blunders that lead to goals. Is that the highest, bro? Is that more than Lloris? Nah, but... Nah, Pickford's got the most. 
Has he? Pickford, then the hair. Yeah. Ah, I swear, I thought, he, I swear he was the most. Nah, I know he's got more than Larice, and I have to hold my hands up. I'm not gonna lie. I will hold my hands up and say, yo, I've been saying Larice has been shit for about six seasons now. You can't have the most errors leading to goal. Um, more than Larice and not have question marks over your head. I'm not saying that, man. But you know what? I'm not even comparing. I'm not comparing fucking De Gea to Alisson and the rest of the modern keepers. But Alisson makes mistakes. Ramsdale makes mistakes. Pope makes mistakes. Pope made the biggest mistake of his life. Now all keepers are gonna make. They mistakes. all make mistakes. But you see the difference between you see the difference between Ramsdale, Alisson, Nick Pope. And anybody else in the top six that you, you want to name, their attackers will get them out of trouble. Mm. You can put Alisson... That's, that's the biggest problem at Manchester United. You can put Alisson in that team, that Manchester United team right now, right, right now. Him being a sweeper keeper is not scoring us goals. It's not winning us games. Mm. Goals win games. Uh, Defence wins titles. Word to the greatest manager of all time. Yeah, we all know this, but... Take away that David De Gea mistake against West Ham on um, Sunday. We don't win that game. We draw the game and get a point. Take away Luke Shaw's mistake against um, Brighton. We don't win the game. We draw. So I get it. De Gea cost us. But our attack should be good enough to get bail him out of trouble like the rest of it was attackers more than do. Enough time. More than enough way time. More, for way Manchester more. Manchester United to get way back more. in that game. Bro. That was like the what 23rd minute or something like that. 27th minute, yeah, bro. So you still got a next 60 minutes to score goals. To you know score I mean? goals, and bro. And the thing is, before that, you might have about four or five chances to score. Bro, don't. Before West Ham t- even had that half chance. It, from Ben Rama, you get me. Don't sorry. get me started. This, this the problem with Manchester United and the priority. Well, I said this though, like as soon as Rashford's little, not I mean, I'm not gonna say purple patch because he was on good form, but as soon as them goals dried up for Rashford, it's peak, bro. It's peak, like it's who's peak. gonna score? No one is scoring, bro. No one. San between Sancho between that, all competitions, all competitions. Rashford has scored 29 goals between Sancho. Um, I'm not going to throw Garnacho in the mix because he's a young boy, but between Sancho, Anthony, Weghorst and Marshall, they can't even match three quarters of Rashford's goals this season. Bruno Fernandes has contributed more than the attackers, bro. Like, make it make sense. Bruno Fernandes, Bruno Fernandes has created the most clear-cut chances in the Premier League than any other midfielder, not chances, not big chances, you know, clear cut. And somehow he's got what, about five assists? Five assists. The priority is not the goalkeeper. We all know David De Gea is shit with the modern goalkeeping thing, but he's not the problem. Man have scored 38 goals in, sorry, 48 goals in the Premier League. Is it 49 now? 49 in the Premier League, bro. Same as Leicester. Leicester are fighting relegation. Brighton got punched up. Punched up by fucking um, Everton on the weekend. They, they play good football. Out from the back, down to the midfield. They are class. Brighton. In front of goal, they are shit. Their defence isn't that good either. And we can't score a goal, bro. Let me show you like something. We played Tottenham earlier on in the season, not the 2-2, the 2-0. We had 28 shots, 10 on target. We scored two goals. Two goals. Mm -hmm. Liverpool, when they beat us 7-0, in the first half, we had four shots on target, no goals. When we played Aston Villa, 3-1, when they beat us 3-1, we had five shots on target, one goal. David De Gea, whether you put Alice again, Alisson, Fabianski, Lloris, Donnarumma, Henderson, put him in that team. Yeah, we can build up from the back. They'll be able to, they might even be able to do the long ball thing down to Rashford and all that. But all them passes and all the intricate build up play is not going to score you the goals. Mm. And any Manchester United fan that thinks that Goalkeeper is a priority over a striker or a midfielder. 
you've lost your head. And these are the same Man United fans that still want to give Martial a chance. Martial has scored, what, nine goals in three seasons? That's what he might want to give a chance. The other day, he came back against Sevilla. He'd done his little thing in the first hour. Man, I'm talking about, you see, we need him. This is what I'm saying. And don't get twisted. I've always said this season, yo, when Martial is in the team, we do play we do play better football. But that doesn't mean with him in the team, we're going to score more goals. Because he's, he's, he hasn't been injured. He hasn't been injured since he's come back against, against Sevilla. And how many goals has Martial scored? How many goals has Sancho scored? Sancho scored two. Anthony scored one. Weghorst. I made a public apology about Weghorst. Bro, these attackers are the problem. Between the five of them, between the five of them, they're on a million a week. And... Not none of them have got more than ten goals in all competitions as well. Mm-hmm. Not even Premier League. A man wanna chat shit to me on Twitter about fucking David De Gea and problem. You not fix up, man. He is a problem, yes. And long term project, he will go. Fucking Leno got replaced in his second season um, of Arteta being there. Carius was there. Carius was there for how long? Before he got replaced. No, he got. To be fair, he got replaced in his, in the second season, um, when he bottled the final, and cost them man to get cost them man the game. Pep, he had unlimited funds. He had unlimited funds, so he could replace Joe Hart straight away. We don't know if the Saudis are gonna if the the, the Qataris are gonna take over the club, and we don't know if he's gonna be to gym. For all we know, it could be the Glazers, and there's talk if the Glazers do stay, that we're only gonna have a hundred mil you to spend. Hope them Qataris come, cause boy, <laughs> you might have been twerking for them. Qataris. We'll talk about the Qataris at another Just time. It's not time. Out. It's not time to talk if about them the Qataris. Qataris don't come. It's not time to talk <laughs> about the Qataris, but listen, Man. there's talk of where if the worst case scenario. Worst case scenario, the Glazers stay. There's only going to be 100 mil to spend in the summer. And if you motherfuckers think that 70 million rare is the, is what we need. If that happens, you might have doomed. Next watch, season, watch, to go watch another sport, please. You are, dude. Just watch another sport. Because how can man really say that change the hair, the problem will be solved? Are you man mad, bruv? We've scored the same amount of goals as Leicester. Fulham have scored more than us. Shitty Park, the bus, Tottenham have scored more than us. Yeah, they've got Harry Kane, a killer, but that's the point. Mm. That is the point. Our killer, our killer has been Rashford and our same fans are starting to get onto him right now. Okay, so it's not the priority. So let's say I'll give you 250 mil What's your, your number one priority is a striker, so let's say Harry Kane, that's going to set you back how much? 250, 250 mil, I'll tell you exactly what I'm doing, and I can, I can, 250 mil, I'm signing Harry Kane, I'm let's signing... Say how, much, how much, how much is... They're how saying, budget? they're saying, uh, they're saying 100 mil. 100 mil? Yeah. So you got 150, 150 yeah. left. I'm buying another striker, bro. No, I, I would have said that as well. I'm buying another striker, think bro. About it, you're not probably not gonna keep Weghorst. Gone. Martial. Gone. You get me? Who else you got? Exactly. You two strikers. I'm buying another striker, bro. I'm getting two strikers. If I've got 250 million to spend, I'm buying two strikers. It's not even like the wingers are creating. It's not like they're creating. Mm. Sancho is just. I don't know what's going on with him. Confidence, what? I, I don't know. I don't care. I'm really not interested right now. He needs to go back to the mountains. My bro. man gets the ball and he goes backwards. <laughs> Anthony, all he wants to do is cut in and shoot. And he's, it, Anthony is more of a threat than Sancho. And I'm not getting onto Anthony by no means. But the wingers are not creating. Our most creative winger is Blood Clark and Natural, bruv. He's got five assists. Sancho ain't got his his number of assists. Anthony ain't got his number of assists. Garnacho has got the most assists after Rashford and get... Bruno. We have to get two strikers with that 250 and then a midfielder because once Casemiro has a poor game, the levels just drop. Is this Sancho's second season? Yeah, it's his second season. Would you how how would you give him one more year? I'm giving him one more year. If I'll you him... if if Dortmund said now nah, we'll give you 60 million to have him back. Would you sell him? On top of the uh, on top of the two hundred and fifty million budget. Yeah. See later. See later. <laughs> See later, bro. Uh, See later. My mind might change. My mind might change in preseason. But as of right now, I would sell him too. 
250 million we've got in the budget and Dortmund said here's 60 mil. See you later, bro. See you later. You're never gonna get 60 mil from him right now. No chance, no chance. No chance. We'll probably just about to get 40. Yeah, but yeah, around 40. You get me that 250 mil. I'm getting two strikers. Two strikers. We pattern for four backs. We don't need four backs. Maguire, if he's got any decency in him, is gonna want to leave. We can get a change for him. Lindelof's gonna leave because he's already talking about, yo, I'm not on this bench thing. So he's gonna leave. That's two centre backs we can get change for. Eric Bailly, we're gonna shot. That's a third centre back. Twan Zabi, we're gonna shot. That's four centre backs. Phil Jones, that's he's gone on fucking free transfer. Oh, between man. between those four centre backs that I just named, we must can get a 50 million, 50, 60 million. That's enough to go and buy another centre back from sales. Midfield, Fred, see you later. McTominay, see you later. Van der Beek, I personally wouldn't sell him, but. If he's got, if he wants to revive his career, he's gonna go. That's free. That's free. I'll CMs be honest there. though, I can't see all these wholesale changes this summer. Bro. I can. I, I can. can. I can. No, I'm not saying not they're gonna go. Not I'm not saying I'm not they're not gonna saying, go for big money, probably, but I can. You'll probably be bringing in. I, I can see you bringing about three, four players, but there's gonna be a lot of dead wood there. Nah. That you ain't gonna be able to shift. Because Trust of the me. wages that certain men are on. Yeah, though. I know, I know, but certainly you have to these men, you have to realise, you know, there was loan offered, loan to buy offers for Maguire in Jan. I don't know why. West Ham and Newcastle was twerking for McTominay. That ain't gonna change. Um Fred, if we put him on the market, we must can get a 20 mil for him, but it's whether he gets put on the market or not. Um that's it for midfield, really. But the centre back, our defence, a lot of defenders are gonna go. Um, and I would sell Marshall. Yeah, he's on two fifty. He's on two fifty a week. He's so on more than you're Rashford. Gonna, you're gonna keep some bits, sir. I would. would you keep him. I would. How much is he worth? About thirty mil. <coughs> they, want, they only want twenty. Twenty. They only want twenty. I'd keep him. But Marshall has to go. Where can we see you later? Marshall has to go. I love Marshall, you know. I got a lot of memories with this geezer. The fans will only remember his debut goal against Liverpool, but if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have won the FA Cup. If it wasn't for him, he played a sorry, he played a key role in our Europa League. And there has been some moments like when it came to Jose getting a sack against Newcastle, turned up. We was losing we was losing uh two nil. Thanks to his two goals, we came back. We we won. We won three. We won three two. Is there's there's some key moments when it comes to Marshall. You get me, and I, I genuinely do like love the player. Like when he first come to the club, he was on the levels of the Mbappe's, the Rashford's, and that for one reason and, and the other. It just didn't work out. But that injury record, he's been here for nine years now. See you later. I'm not on this sentiment thing, bro. Cause you see what happens with these players and this sentiment thing. The manager gets thrown under the bus. How many more man? How many man? How many man? Moise, shit. He's doing all right now, but shit. Louis van Gaal, he had a good playing style. He had one and two man there, but ultimately it didn't work. Jose Mourinho and Oli, they are the two. Jose has got us the most success since he's been there, sacked him. Some of them players are still there now. Man, I've still got players from David Moyes days, bruv. Mm. David Moyes days, we've still got players from. All these players, they're still there. We're on our, what, fifth actual manager, if you don't want to include the interims, bro. It has to give a lot of them half the goal. Mm. They're just not good enough. And Marshall is definitely one of them. We need two strikers, bro. I can't be lying on, relying on Rashford because, boy, this season, he's not been consistent enough. And lo and behold, lo and behold, he hasn't scored since... He has, he's only scored, what, two league goals since February. And the fans are turning, turning on Rashford already. Are you man taking a piss, bruv? <laughs> if it wasn't for Rashford, where the fuck would... Where would we be? Where would we be? How? Bro, I could go all day. I see one tweet on Twitter, and I was like, Rash is the perfect name because, like a rash, after a while, he just disappears. See what I'm saying, bro? <laughs> That's why I'm not talking about my guy, MBE. He's had a oh. bad boy season, bro. You've all got man comparing him to Martinelli, saying Martinelli's had a better season than Rashford, bro. I'm not taking it. I'm not even going to talk about that one there because we'll talk about that when PFA nominees and all them things there come out. You get me? That's what we'll talk about that. But how can forget the forget the ops, forget the rival fans. It's close though. How can it is close, it is close, but Rashford, 
if it wasn't for Rashford and some of the, whether it's the big six games, whether it's a, a mauling, if it wasn't for Rashford's goals, there's no way man will be sitting here talking about mm, Man United might bottle top four. Mm. We would never have been in top four if it wasn't for Rashford. So how the fuck you going to chat shit on his name? Post World Cup, he was doing his World Cup. Pre World Cup, he was doing his thing. And man want to call up Rashford's name. How come I ain't calling up Sancho's name? No, wait, wait, how you got to look at it is these are the same fans that wanted him gone last season anyway. I so know. The, there was only, the only switched up on him because he was playing good. So now they've just reverted back to tight. And that's bullshit. This is just absolute bullshit. You know what my, like, I'll be honest, as much as, as, as much as Anthony's been semi underwhelming, the only reason I don't give him stick because other than like, he offers more, yeah. he offers more. And out of all our wingers, besides Rashford, he's been the best one. And that's saying something. That's fucking saying something. Marshall, Sancho. Is that because the bar's so low though, as well? Pretty much because of Marshall not being available. I'm saying that like, Williams got more goals. This, this bro, this is what I'm saying. The attack <laughs> has been shit, bro. The uh, man are talking about David De Gea and the defence. Like, Jam talks a lot about how our defence is shit and this, that. Big up, Jam, my guy. But I've been telling man, I've been telling man since we lost 6 3 to City, our attack is the problem. If we didn't con concede seven goals to Liverpool, we'd have conceded the first, the third highest goals in the league. That was a freak result with shit, yeah. That's what's bumped it up. But the amount of games where we have been on top and we've only scored one goal or we've ended up drawing a game or even losing a game because of maybe a defensive error or certain, the attack, the only one of the attack that can hold their hands, heads high and said, I've done my job is Marcus MBE Rashford, bro. He's the only one. Bruno, he's, a, he's calm. Sometimes he's been playing on the left wing, right wing, CDM, box to box. I'm not including I'm not including Bruno in this. I'm including. It's ironic because he's played on the wings and all that, but I'm including the out and out wingers. They're not they've not been good enough. And the strikers, they've not been good enough. They've been shit. Sabitza got two goals from playing false nine and he's a centre midfielder. Not one of them attackers have got two goals in a game. Not one of them. <laughs> and man want to talk to me about the, the summer, the hair. We need to go and spend 70 million on Real. Nah, fuck all of that. I'm not interested, bro. Right, so if with that 250, you wouldn't spend any of, the, any of it on no. the keeper? Nope. No. Nope. Two strikers. Two strikers, a midfielder. We need strikers. No, I agree. I wouldn't, I wouldn't. We need a striker to come in and just be number nine, and we need somebody to come in that's good enough to challenge the number nine. I'd go and buy. It. I'd go and buy. It. I've already done said with two hundred and fifty mil. If that's what you're giving me, I'm buying Vlahovic and, and Ivan Tony. Man, that know where the back of the net is, yeah. and that can do the hold up play. I'm not. Tony needs to come to the Emirates. No, I'm not none of that, bro. I'm not none of that. What's wrong with the Jesus, bro? Yo, we need a different type of striker as well, fam. We need a striker that's going to be in the box, bro. <laughs> the other times I look up thinking, where's Jesus, bro? Man was by the centre circle, fam. And just another just another thing, you know what pisses me off? Especially when it comes to Weg Horse. And man, are going to laugh at me because I tried to sell man a dream. Peggy! I haven't tried to sell myself a dream, but you see what annoys me, yeah? Uh... You see Cavani, Ronaldo, Ibra, Lukaku even. Igalo, they weren't getting the chances that this geezer's got, bro. Mm. They weren't getting the chances. This geezer has. Kims. Bro, has wow. no one even scored a header? Only like six foot six, bro. You can go and check the videos. You can go and check the videos now. This is one thing I did say. I said to everybody, even when we had the mad thing debate in the studio, I said to everyone, yes, he's six foot five, but he's not good in the air. <laughs> He's not good in the air, bro. No, he hasn't scored a header. I think the last time I checked... By the same time, win, you man don't cross the ball. Really? No, we don't. We don't. We don't, we don't. And it's probably because we see him in training and he don't win headers, bro. My man has won. I've seen a stat saying something like 32% of his headers that he's gone for. 32% and he's 6'5". My man's taller than Van Dijk, you know? 
Lord, Kims, is that tweet reasonable or wild, bro? Um, it's it's true what he's saying, but in the context of Manchester United and priorities, a goalkeeper is not that high up on your agenda. And you know what? You know what? Just one thing before I I I get into the whether it's reasonable or wild, yeah. You know what pisses me off as well is. You see, when the hair does pull off a world, worldie, like against Fulham, when we almost went out of the uh, FA Cup, no one don't say anything. Mm. No one don't say nothing. The, They're used to that, innit? I don't this give a what, fuck. This is what the gay does. I don't give a fuck. He's a good shot stopper. He is, with his hands and with his feet, yeah? And when he's gone, I will appreciate him. I don't have a bad word to say about the hair. Don't get me wrong. I do think, I tweeted the other day, my guy's going out sad and it's emotional. The same way how Wenger went out sad, the hair's going out the same way. Realistically, I seen ne- never said something. Would you, give him, would you give him a new contract? I would, but I wouldn't make him, I'd make him compete for number one next season. I'm not saying, I'm not saying he has to guarantee start, you know, but I would make him compete. I would make him know that. Portland. Nah. But you just said a, a goal by the Henderson's goal coming back in it. I'd let them compete. Oh, yeah, I yeah. don't think Henderson's the answer by no means, but I would probably Sure show... he's not gonna wanna stay at Man United. No, I'm not saying he's looking forward to preseason the waste, man. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. With because you don't know, like the next for all we know, yeah, the next the next show that me and Keems do. Breaking news, Qatari's bid's been accepted, or breaking news, Sir Jim's bid's been accepted. You see, if that happens, it's a different story. <laughs> but as it stands right, 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 right now, with the talk of the budget being 100 to 150 million, give the head a new contract. Just because he gets a new contract doesn't mean, doesn't mean, quote unquote, the project, he's going to be the goalkeeper for the foreseeable. Mm. Does not mean that. He could be he could be the backup goalkeeper next summer. We don't know. I'm saying this summer for next season, man are, talk, man are saying, oh, you're not gonna win a title with David De Gea in um in in in, in your goal next season. But man think that Harry Kane is gonna win Manchester United the title next season. We ain't challenging I don't mind a challenge, but I don't expect to win no fucking Premier League next season. What I do expect is to score more goals than fucking Leicester City. And I do expect to see a striker in my club to be on 20 plus goals in the Premier League. Yeah, man, you remember we in that league next season. Shut up, bro. Especially after how Stefan's going on, bro. <laughs> fucking hell. League. Listen, start mixing league. me with them Man United, the them, them Yo, type of... The league, fam. Them type of United fans, bro. Tell man to win the league. You win the league, big man. We're going to talk United. about that, but let me... Listen, I'm going to say... I'm gonna say I'm gonna be with that tweet. I'm saying it's fifty-fifty. It's not wild, but it's not reasonable because you're basically saying you're basically saying that the hair is the reason as to why we're now um, in a top four battle, according to some. And it's not. It's not because we were just 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 to give you one example i said three i said three games ago when we played top then we should have secured top four we was tuning up in the first half fair enough they scored they, they, they scored within 30 seconds of them scoring bruno hit the post and we had the better chances in the game to go and win the game bro the attackers are the problem yeah but at the end of the day, if you not if you can't score, you can't win. Exactly. <laughs> get me so exactly, and we can't That's score for shit. We scored the least amount of goals out of everything. Liverpool, who are six, who have had the worst season. Nunez doing fuck all. Diaz been injured for God knows how long. Jota been injured for how long? Have scored twenty more goals than man. And you may have the same amount of losses than this season. <laughs> But the hair's the problem. But <laughs> yo, that was tweeted a week, in it? People, get in the comments. Let me know what you think. Let Keems know what you think. Is the hair the problem for Manchester United? Is the goalkeeping position a priority in the summer? Or are these United fans just talking shit? Let us know what you think. They always talk shit. <laughs> the do still. Raw do. The, the, the do. Check the scores before you come with your reckless talk. Go check, sending corn, back to my team, and we're back to yours. For the win, taking no L's, we don't do draws. 
Don't press pause, keep your ears peeled when Tessie talks. <laughs>